Green, green, green. And we are underway, and Malkin gets a good run to the outside. Johnson going to tuck into the inside as well. Two by oh. two coming out of the corner. Couple of drivers together midway through the corner there. Leaders, though, coming out of turn number three over to turn four. And Kai Johnson setting the pace. Yeah, that was pretty messy there in the midfield here at 41. Many slip drivers going into a tight turn uh, corner. Really not the tightest one that we go to. One of the more open. Three drivers down the inside on J uh, Johnson right there. And so now Oliver Weldon leads. Four-driver lead group it is. Weldon showing the way to turn number one. It's Tyler Roberts, Keelan Harvick, and then Kai Johnson there in fourth. Yeah, so there's your front-running four drivers who are stretched away here. Weldon, Roberts, Harvick, and Johnson. And they will, I would say, try to pull away, but no, I think we're going to go side by side. The Parallel driver, Tyler Roberts, now goes into P1 in the 199. It's a long main here, 18 laps. We've seen chaos and calamity today. We've all seen a little bit of tame racing. Let's go back to some more chaos. Here comes Keelan Harvick to the lead in turn one. Hey, how many times did we say that last year? Harvick to the lead, because there's a guy in the mini swift category last year who always wanted the lead. He did not want to run second. He likes to be up front, and we're seeing it again here as he's starting his first year in the mini swift category. Keelan Harvick in the Hunt Brothers pizza machine on the peril and going to P1. Robert slotting into second. Weldon runs in third. You're still single file, and it looks like... Uh, as they work their way over to turn number nine, it will remain that way. No one really wanted to tuck out of line. They're happy, it seems to be, in the positions they are, and um, nobody forcing the issue, although I say that. Here comes Weldon, <laughs> trying to force it on Tyler Roberts. Can't get by into 10. He'll cross him up through 11 and 12 and get through, though, and that'll give a nice little gap to Harvick. Oh, that was nice. That was the pressure to the inside of number 10, then the over under at 11. Really nice pass there for uh, Weldon, who knows this track well, does a lot of driving here at Homestead, and I like that a lot. A lot of momentum there. Watching the drivers uh, push away here, trying to work their way forward. You can see, no doubt, that Weldon slowly chipping away. Eight-tenths of a second last time by. He's closed it up quite a bit here on the leader, Keelan Harvick. Again, down the front straight. The gap was eight-tenths. Make it three-tenths as Weldon goes purple. Fast lap out of Oliver Weldon. First driver into the 52s. Keelan Harvick leading the way, but only three-tenths of a second up on Oliver Weldon. Oliver's been digging, 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 Xander, uh, as we've had these interviews. Goes purple last time by, 52.715. Slowly but surely chipping away at the lead. It's about a length and a half right now. Half a cart length back to Oliver Weldon. He has not shown his hand. It's, again, almost like poker at this point in the race with the two of them. Tyler Roberts just kind of looming there in the catbird seat. He closes up really nicely yeah. into four, but... Um, you know, if you're Oliver Weldon, you know, do you want to go before the two to go signal? We've seen guys win it by defending on the final lap nicely. We've also seen some last lap scenarios like in KAC here where, I mean, you could have been anywhere and come away with the checkers. Well, when you're battling a guy like this, he likes to be able to make at least one pass. So the guy up front knows you can make the pass, right? You don't want to just sit there and second the whole time. Maybe you make the pass, maybe you don't. We've seen a lot of times in many where the guys can't pull the trigger on the last couple of laps. Make the move by, see if you got it, and you, you know that Keelan Harvest is going to try to go back by you because he likes the lead so much. I think that uh, I think the Weldon's still lining him up. I'd like to see him go by to try it, but uh, Weldon, see, he's a savvy young driver. He's got a lot of poise. We've got Tyler Roberts coming in. I just love the fact that we got the suspense right now. We're not sure what's going to happen. Oh, Harvick just needs to keep on clicking out consistent lap times like he did that time by. Only gave up four hundredths of a second. There's parts of the lap, like you said, Rob, where it seems like Oliver could and maybe should at least pull the trigger once to, you know, maybe rattle Keelan Harvick a little bit, you know, throw off his game plan, but he hasn't. Here it is, final lap. They'll work their way out of the infield section. Harvick has the lead. Weldon's got to pull the trigger here pretty soon. They'll work their way in. Weldon backs it up a bit. He wants to get a better run out of the corner. Harvick strong through turn number eight over to nine. Tyler Roberts looking to capitalize as well. He's just not there, Xander, right now. Now Weldon got a bad exit there out of turn number eight. He was trying to open up the corner, and uh, he popped the curb on the inside coming out, and that's what really hurt the momentum. It'll have to be a massive toe down the front stretch. I don't think he'll get there. Keelan Harvick, mini swift win number one. There it is, and it happened at the Scusa Winter Series. The driver was one of the dominant factors last year in Micro Swift. In his rookie season here in Mini, gets a victory of the Winter Series as he takes the triumph by just over a tenth of a second from Oliver Weldon. 
Welcome back to AMR Homestead Miami Motorplex here. We are getting set to go racing once again for main event, the starting grid. First and foremost, we've got Keelan Harvick, hot off a pre-final win and a main event win yesterday, starting to the inside of Asher Ockstein. Row number two, it'll be Carson Weinberg and Max Christie. Row three, Tyler Roberts and Oliver Weldon. We're getting set to go green here, folks. Let's see how it turns out. Harvick, Ockstein, lots of shoving in the outside lane. It's going to push Ockstein forward. He's trying to keep it even. It will be green to turn number one. Couple drivers on the outside through the water. Couple through the water on the inside of turn number one. But either way, we're clean and green here down at turn number four. Keelan Harvick leads them over uh, Carson Weinberg with a great start in the CRG. Up a couple positions off the bat. Headed into turns seven and eight. There they go, your leaders on through. And out of eight, they'll head back to turn number nine. Keelan Harvick with a lot of viewers watching along at home. And he's got a nice gap here in the Hunt Brothers Pizza Peril. And here comes Asher Rockstein for third. He gets by on De La Vecchia. And now that'll allow Oliver Weldon to have momentum. He pushes De La Vecchia down the back. Not going to pull out a line to turn number two. But all the while, Carson Weinberg, a little bit of a gap as he tries to hunt down Keelan Harvick and the Hunt Brothers Pizza Peril. Oliver Weldon has been four to five tenths quicker at times, and he is going for the pass for second. Nice move, cleanly made on Carson Weinberg. And last time by was four tenths quicker. He's cut a near three second gap to this guy right here, Keelan Harvick down to 1.6, probably about 1.4 right now if I had to guess. With six and a half laps to go, we could, could end up with a duel here at the end. There's your gap update. Carson Weinberg is faded. Harvick still the leader but that gap closing from yeah. Oliver Weldon. Well, let's check it. Last time by, Oliver Weldon, purple, picked up, is within a second. You can see them both in the frame now nicely. Only about four to five car lengths back. The double sticks will fly this time. He's got to be absolutely perfect, but he is so wicked fast right now. Again, this gap about 10 laps ago, Rob, was three seconds. Wow. It is now three car lengths with two laps to go. Coming across the line again, a 53 flat for Weldon last time by. Does a 52.989, picks up four more tenths of a second. Two to go, less than seven tenths left. The math makes them on the rear bumper of the final lap. Let's see what happens here with Weldon. They'll work their way out of turn number two over to three. Harvick's got to put the head down because Weldon is coming to the most famous names you'll see in motorsport, the Harvick and the Weldon brands. Here they come. This could be a great battle with these two second-generation drivers, Harvick, into turn number eight right now. Weldon rolled in the center. It's about four or five car lengths Andrew, down to turn number nine. This one's going to be a last lap fight. It's a repeat of yesterday. Keelan Harvick trying to help hold off Oliver Weldon. He was able to do it to score his first mini win on Saturday. Weldon's got a lot more pace here today. He's cut the gap in half. Final lap coming. How much toe will he get here? Not a good exit out of 12 for Harvick. Two car lengths, cut it down to a car length and a half. Weldon sends it deep to turn one. Big run for Weldon out of the corner. Harvick will run the defensive line to the inside. Comes back out a little bit. That's going to give some oh. contact. Yeah, tried to roll the center. Weldon went down to the inside, made contact with Harvick at the apex of turn number two. They're still side by side. Run here to the inside comes Weldon. Book it to the inside of turn number five. Weldon goes to the lead. Back through turn number seven. Not there, potentially going to the inside indeed. Back on the inside comes Harvick, doesn't get the run. Weldon's gonna leave with the exit speed. Oh, what a massive gap for Oliver Weldon. Keelan Harvick tried to get it, looked like he had the pass. I don't know if he thought he was gonna get crossed over and slam the brakes or what, but ultimately that's what it looked like here from our view through 10, 11, final time. Down the front straight away, Oliver Weldon wins a last lap duel and concludes his championship at the Scusa Winter Series.